In today's video, I'm going to be showing all of you how to make and upload your own custom card skin in Please Buy Me. So the game has pre-made card skins that you can buy from the shop, but the developers put out an update where you can create and upload your own custom card skins to help you stand out. You can see my Fizz and Fuzz card skin behind me here, and if I move to the back, you can see the back side of it. So how do you do this exactly? Well, first, if you don't already have the custom card skin game pass, you'll need to get that. At the time of this video, the price was 2,499 Robux, which is not cheap, but they kept it at this price because it's meant to be an exclusive feature that not everyone has access to. After you buy the game pass, you can access the card skin creation window by clicking on custom. This is where you would import the card skin asset IDs for the front and back of your card. So how do you make a custom card skin in the first place? You'll need two things. Number one, you'll need to download the card skin template file, which I've included a link for in the video description. This will show you exactly where you should place your images and how they'll look in relation to the rest of the card, like the avatar and the fame value. It also gives you the dimensions of the actual card so that you know exactly how big to make your files. You can use whatever image editing software you want for this, but I prefer to use Photopia because it's free and easy to use. So let's go into Photopia now and I'll show you how this works. All right, so as you can see, I'm in Photopia here and the website is photopia.com. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna import that PSD file that you downloaded. So I'm gonna open from computer and I'm gonna scroll down to the card skin template PSD and this is it right here. So as you can see, this is the basic card skin template that you can use to edit and make your card the way you want it. So for those of you who are not familiar with Photopia or Photoshop or any of those things, there are layers here on the side. So you, if you expand this guides menu, you can see that these are all the guides for where the rest of the card template basically sits. So for example, if I hide and show this, you can see that the front thumbnail can be hidden and shown. The front icon can be hidden and shown and then the border and the name and the fame value and the background color. So what you want to do first is you want to figure out what your background image is going to be. So now I'm just going to bring in some random background that I have, you know, sitting around. You can find, you know, free ones that maybe you like, or you can even design your own if you're, if you're good with that. So let me just grab one here from my computer. And this is by no means going to be a perfect example because I'm, I'm not going to spend too much time, you know, making this work, but I just want to show you guys the basics of how this can be done. Okay, so I'm just gonna drag in this here. So this is like, you know, just a standard background. So I'm just gonna make it bigger to fill out the area. And, you know, it, it's better if you have one that actually fits the size better, but, you know, this, this kind of works too. So I'm just gonna make this that size. And then now you can see that it's covering everything. So I'm gonna drag this top layer and I'm gonna bring it all the way down to here. So now you can see it's in the background, right? And it fits pretty good. So the next thing you want to do is you want to add in any graphics or whatever you want. So I'm going to create a new layer. So down here you can see there's a little piece of paper that looks folded over. That's the new layer button. So if you click this, now it's added a new layer here. So anything that I drag into this layer will be you know, shown in the foreground, just like how I did the other one for the background. So I'm just going to grab, I don't know, uh, this angry tomato that I always use in every picture. So, and on, oops, I'll scale this down. So if you just drag one of the corners, you can scale up and down in Photopia. If you hold down shift, it'll scale non-uniformly. So you don't generally want to do that. So just, you know, scale it down to whatever sizes that you want, plop it down here, and then, you know, add a little rotation to it if you want. Now. This has a, you know, a background image, so I'm just actually going to get rid of that. Uh, so if you, if you click the magic wand and then tap on the element that you want, oh, the layer is not selected. So you have to make sure that the layer is selected. And then you click on it and you'll see that it'll outline everything. Now I'm not going to, this isn't like a tutorial on how to use Photopia, but you know, there are ways that you can make it so it's more precise and less precise, but this one worked pretty good. So I'm just going to, uh, you have to rasterize. So I'm going to rasterize the layer and then I'm going to delete. So there, now you see it's gone and now I have my angry tomato here. And then, you know, you can do things like you can do blending options. So if I want to add like an outer glow, I can add, you know, a glow like that to make it like kind of cool looking. There we go. And that's done. 
So there it is, there's my, my template. So now what you wanna do is before you export this, you want to hide the guides basically. So I'm gonna hide everything. I don't know why there's another layer here, but I'm just gonna hide everything that is not what I wanna upload. So this is, this is basically the card skin that I've made, right? So I'm gonna save this now as, I'm gonna export it as a JPEG, okay? And I'm gonna call it uh, card skin example. You guys probably can't see this window, but and I'm gonna save it there, okay? And then, um, so that's saved. Now, if you wanna do the back, right? That's the next thing you wanna do. Um, so I'm just gonna do, for the back, I'm just gonna grab this tomato and I'm just gonna, you know, move them over here and I'm gonna make them bigger. Of course, you know, you, you would make the back look different or better, for example, but I'm just kind of giving you an example of how this could work. And then I'm just gonna rotate him a little bit in the opposite direction or something. So that way we know that this is the back, right? And then I'm gonna save this one as export as a card skin example back, for example. Okay, so I've got my two things saved now. Now what you wanna do is you wanna head over to the Roblox website, okay? So you go to roblox.com and then you wanna go to the create tab, okay? When you load up the create tab, you wanna go to dashboard and then you wanna go to development items on the right, okay? And then you wanna go to decals over here. Now you'll see that I already have some stuff uploaded here, um, but just ignore that. So now what you wanna do is you wanna upload asset and then you press upload and then you just look for the files that you saved. So you wanna upload card skin example first. So do, do them one at a time. There it is. And then you wanna give it a name. So I'm gonna call this, uh, please buy me card skin front, for example. Okay, and then that's all you need to do, and then just upload it. And it'll take a minute. Once it's uploaded, then it'll take it'll take a bit to refresh, but in the meantime, you can upload your back. So I'm gonna do that the same thing, but I'm gonna do it with the back now. And I'm gonna call this, please buy me card skin back. And I'm gonna upload it. And there we go. Okay, now these two are now uploaded as decals, but now to bring them into the game, you actually wanna to go to images, okay? Click on images, and then once these are done, you, you can click on this and so you'll see them, they're, they're popping up now. And then you wanna grab the asset ID here. So copy asset ID, okay? So that'll say it's copied successfully. Then you wanna go back into the game, and once you're in the game, then you wanna click on custom over here. And you can see I already got rid of my two that I had from before. So where it says front side, you want to type the following here. RBX asset ID colon slash slash. Okay, and you can see it, it's at the, you can, you can just kind of basically copy it from the back one here. And then you wanna paste your ID, okay? Oh, sorry, that's the back one, not the, I copied the wrong one. So this one can go to the back here. So let's just copy all this, put that there. And then we wanna grab the front one for the front. This is the front right here. So we copy, same thing that I did before. You can't see what I'm doing right now, but I just went back to the Roblox website and I copied the other one just like I did. And then you wanna just paste that there. There you go. And that's, that's the custom card. now. You can see like I didn't do this perfectly. I could have moved this, you know, the tomato over a little bit more so it's not clashing with the star, but you get the idea. And then you would just submit it. So now here's the thing. The first time that you submit one of these, it is free. So, I mean, the card skin, obviously the game pass is not free, but the first submission after you buy the game pass is free. Anytime you wanna upload a new one, you have to pay 500 fan coins. And the reason for this is because uh, the developers have to manually approve each and every single card skin so they don't want people just constantly spamming them with stuff so you have to put a price associated with that so once you're happy with how this looks then you would submit it but now the other thing is you can change the text and stroke color so 
if I want to change, you know, this to be like, I don't know, to, to match a little bit more, you know, so it's blue, then I could do that. Um, you know, I don't know. So that will change like, you know, the way the background looks. And then you can also change the, the card stroke color. You know, like that. And then that's it. All done. So if I submit this, it'll go into the queue. I'm not going to submit this obviously because I already have my own card skin, but this would go into the queue and then it doesn't, it didn't take them too long to approve it when I did it, but I guess the longer you wait, the, the bigger the queue might be, but I think they're pretty on top of it, so you should be good. So that's pretty much it. That's how you do it. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful, and if it was, please drop a like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.